Welcome to ET Solution. In this video, we will discuss about the working principle of HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor. What we will discuss in detail here you can see uh, number one type of material that HCSR can R cannot detect. So we will discuss the type of material and it is working and the number three is SCSR04 module internal schematic this is the SCSR04 ultrasonic sensor and we will discuss about its uh, schematic here I have its schematic this is the schematic later we will discuss in detail and we also will discuss the code for the SCSR04 without using the ultrasonic library so if you know the code without using the library then the modification is very easy and we will also talk about the raw echo how to read the raw echo data from this sensor so let's start this is the front side and the back side of HCSR04 sensor it have two parts one is the transmitter and other side is the receiver how it works the basic working principle is transmitters transmit the ultrasonic waves the frequency of ultrasonic wave uh, that this transmitter transmit is 40 kilohertz so if you have any object in front of this sensor the ultrasonic wave will strike to the object and will reflect from the object to again at the receiver so by using this method if we know the speed of ultrasonic wave the speed of ultrasonic wave is 340 meter per second and this sensor can give us the time taken from this transmission time and the receiving time so we can calculate the total time travel by the ultrasonic wave so by this time we can measure the distance of the object so how we can measure the distance let's go for the equation okay here we have the speed of ultrasonic wave is 340 meter per second and we can measure the distance distance the simply the the formula we can say the speed into time that will be the distance so why we divided by 2 the reason is that the sonic wave travel from sensor to object and then again object to sensor the distance traveled by the sonic wave is double from the distance between the object and sensor because wave travel from sensor to object and again object to sensor here is the simple formula if the sensor give us the time and we know the speed and then we can multiply the speed with the time and then divide it by 2. Normally this sensor gave us time in microseconds so that's why we uh, in one microsecond if the speed is 340 meter in one second in one microsecond the speed will be 0 0.034 meter. So this is one example here so later we will discuss about in the code how to calculate. So <clears throat> how to use this sensor with Arduino so we need to understand this sensor have four pins one is the VCC the other is ground and one is trigger and one is echo so what we need to do on VCC we need to apply volt we need to apply 5 volt on VCC and 0 volt on GND GND pin need to connect with the GND trigger what we need to do on the trigger at least we need to apply 10 microsecond pulse on the trigger pin it's not must you need to apply 10 microsecond this means uh, you can apply more than 10 microsecond pulse but it should not be less than 10 microsecond so in just you need to apply trigger pulse more than 10 microsecond as the trigger get the falling edge on this trigger pin this module internal schematic will generate 8 pulses of 40 kilohertz for this pulse you don't need to make any coding because all the circuit include in this module will generate this 
eight cycles of 40 kilohertz. So this 40 kilohertz sonic wave will be transmitted from the transmitter end. And if there is any object in front and you receive the echo back, so there is a echo pin on the SCSR04. This echo pin will goes high as the transmission will end and it will remain high until the receiver receive the echo. As the receiver receive the echo, this echo pin will goes down. So how to calculate the total time the in if I go in the code, code what will do just will measure the width of this pulse. So the width of this pulse shows the time taken by the wave from sensor to object and object to sensor back. So this time if I go for the code here you can see that here is a simple code without the library uh, I set two pins input and output echo is input and trigger is the output pin so here you can see the distance the main point of this code is here we can say distance is equal to duration into speed by 2 because the duration we use the simple formula pulse in pulse in give us the pulse width of the echo pin here we connect the echo here we write here echo high it give us the echo high time in microsecond so in one microsecond the sonic wave can travel 0.034 meter so that we divided by 2 as I explained you why we divided by 2 that is the simple code of HCSR04 and uh, one more thing as I say we will discuss about the material so ultrasonic wave can be reflected from the hard materials any hard material but some soft material like uh, curtains or uh, foam such type of soft material cannot reflect the sonic wave so you will not be able to detect the soft material the hard material you can detect so let's go for internal schematic if you want to here we have the single object if you want to uh, measure the distance for multiple objects so for that you need to do some modification in the schematic of this HCSR04 so here I mention here is the back side of HCSR04 here are three ICs so if I go for schematic here you can see our module is connected here trigger and echo here is the small MCU and small MCU again connected to max 232 this is the transmitter side it just increase the level of signal to make the enough level for transmission here we make the transmission it transmit the signal and here we have the receiver you can see this receiver is connected to this IC and this IC output is coming here here is the echo signal and here we have the amplifier so this amplifier give echo to this MCU here and from here you, we get the echo to our Arduino so how it works if you go for the uh, schematic uh, sorry for the data sheet here it mentioned the minimum range is 2 cm and maximum is 4 meter. Why minimum is 2 cm? So from here schematic you can understand. Because why the more uh, the HCSR04 module they set the minimum distance. The reason is that when you transmit the signal here and if you see the module transmitter and receiver are very near to each other when you transmit the signal at the same time receiver can receive the signal so to avoid this thing to avoid the such interference what they do in the schematic here you can see <coughs> here is the echo receiver and it output here and this is the input pin this is coming from this controller if this pin signal is high so it make this IC off IC output remains off it doesn't receive any echo so what it do to avoid the transmission interference 
it make the high pass on this pin to stop receiving the echo for short time so at least you can't detect the two or three centimeter distance because at this time this ic remains off so if you want to modify you can uh, disconnect this pin from here and connect to your arduino and you can make the dead distance like two centimeter five ten if in your application is required so and the other thing here is the main raw eco pin here pin number 10 if i show you on the uh, main here on the u2 pin this pin here is the raw eco if you connect your arduino or any oscilloscope or other equipment here you can read the raw eco raw eco can help you to detect the multiple uh, objects because by default you can only detect the single object if you want multiple object or you want some modification you can read the raw eco signal at this pin as i mark on the back side of the module and the next <clears throat> Uh, I hope that was all about this video mm, the code detail upload the code in the HCSR04 using Arduino or STM or LGT any MCU uh, I will discuss that things in uh, part 2 video where we will discuss about the, uh, how to upload the code and we will show you the simulation of the code and the details the in this video that's all thanks for watching